What's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to be showing you the fastest and easiest way to start dropshipping on Shopify. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to find viral products and actually validate them before you even try to test them. I'm gonna be showing you how to create a high converting website that guarantees customers convert. And then number three, I'm gonna show you how you can go out and build advertisements that will actually bring traffic to your website so you can start profiting right away. And everything I'm gonna be showing you today is not some BS off the internet. All of these methods have been proven and trialed by myself and have made me almost $5 million through my dropshipping career. So today I'm gonna to be showing you transparently how you can actually go out and do this yourself. And if you guys do get this video to 4,000 likes, I'm gonna be giving away $500 to one of the viewers who drops a like and comments on this video. But with that being said, let's get into the value. Before you actually get started, you must understand that dropshipping is not a get rich quick scheme. Even if you copied exactly what I did click by click, it wouldn't guarantee that you have a profitable business. Because here's the thing, business is not like baking a cake. You can't take a product page and mix it with a Facebook ad and equal a successful business. It's simply not that predictable, but that shouldn't stop you from pursuing this business model. The reason I'm telling you this is because most dropshippers test one or two products, fail, and claim that dropshipping's a scam and it doesn't work. So definitely don't be that guy. Go out and test a few products out because chances are your first or second might not be the winner. But with that being said, I'm gonna show you two of my favorite methods for finding viral products. All right, so the first method I'm gonna show you how to use today is this tool called Droppy Spy, and they actually have a free plan, so you can sign up using the link in my description. But how this tool works is we're able to see tons of different viral Facebook ads, and we can actually set different search parameters here. So for example, if we come to April 1st to April 14th, it's only gonna show us ads that have been delivered in that time frame, And we can even get more specific, we can come over to e-commerce platform, and we can click Shopify. And why this is important is we'll only see ads that redirect to a Shopify URL. So it's very likely that we're gonna see tons of other dropshippers Facebook ads. And this is gonna give us super good intel on what's actually working right now. Because chances are if they're running ads, then they're definitely profitable because ads are very expensive. So what we can do is we can actually click this search button and there's actually this filter tab right here. So we could come and filter by likes or shares. I'm gonna filter by shares. And what it's actually gonna show us is is the top ads and top products that have been advertised in this period. So for example, there's this portable jacuzzi over here and you can see that this ad has absolutely gone viral. It has 14,000 likes and 16,000 shares. And what's really cool about this tool is we can click this Facebook button and it's actually gonna open the exact link to the Facebook ad. And why I really appreciate this is because we can see the exact ad that's making them money. So we could actually try to recreate it and improve upon the ad, but I'll talk more about that later in this video. So one thing I recommend you do after you found an ad and a product that catches your attention is you come over to AliExpress and actually type the product name in and see if the product's offered on AliExpress. And then what you can do is create a Google spreadsheet and pick five products that you actually wanna test out. Now we're gonna save room for five more products so we can actually try it with the other product research method that I'm gonna be showing you. So this other product research method is using the absolute largest e-commerce company in the world, which is Amazon. And basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna be looking for the best selling products on Amazon to get ideas for what we're gonna wanna sell. So the first thing you wanna do is click this best seller button over here. And what's really cool is that they have tons of different departments that we can actually pick. So you can scroll through some of these categories. I'm gonna choose beauty and personal care. And what's gonna show up is all the top products right now. And I want you guys to keep in mind any of these products on the top 10 list are probably doing well over a million dollars a month which is kind of hard to comprehend but if we keep scrolling down you can actually see there's this product right here called a jade roller and gua sha so we can actually click on this product and as you see there's 14,000 reviews on this product which is just absolutely nuts now, once you find a product that catches your attention, I want you to do the exact same thing and see if it actually populates on AliExpress. So I just typed in Jade Roller and you can see right here, this is literally the exact same product. It has both of the pieces that that other company was selling and this is for $7.46 and you can see that this competitor is selling it for $19. So that's one really good way to actually get an idea for products to test from Amazon. So definitely fill your list up with five of these products and right now you should have 10 products in a list that are viable for you to start testing. 
Now, once you have some products picked out, I recommend you go on Google Trends and actually see if that product's trending right now. So for example, I'm just gonna type Jade Roller into the search bar and we're gonna actually see the interest level of this product. So what's really cool is we can actually check by different time parameters, but the standard view is on the past 12 months. So if we actually look at this product, we can see that last April, this product definitely blew up. And then you can also see that in December, this product was in really high demand. But since then, it's kind of dropped down. And right now it means it's at a 62% interest level, which means not as many people are actually looking for this product on Google, but I wouldn't let that actually stop you from going out and testing a product. One thing that you can do is actually type the product into Google and see if other products show up on Google Shopping. And if you see that tons of other people are actually still selling that product, then it definitely might be a viable idea for you to actually go out and test it. Now, once you have your products picked out, it's time to start building the bones of our company. So the first step to do that is to determine a domain name that you wanna use for the business that you're gonna be selling. A few tips that I recommend is break down what type of store you actually want. And I would usually put this into three different categories, a niche store, a one product store, and a general store. A general store is a store that you could literally test any product under the sun on. So that store would be similar to Amazon. And for a domain name for a general store, you could call it something like Trends or Us, something very general that would attract a lot of different audience. Now, let's say you're actually starting a niche store. A niche store is focusing on a specific niche. So let's say that you're actually wanting to sell beauty products. You could try to think of a domain name like beautymagic.com. That way people know that your brand is targeting a specific niche. Now, the last option is a one product store. This is actually the strategy that I use but it's a little bit more cost intensive because you're gonna need to add a new domain name every time you test a product. But for example, let's say we wanted to sell that Jade Roller and we wanted a one product store domain name for that. We could call it the jaderoller.com. So definitely get creative, but one thing that I highly recommend is that you don't spend too much time doing this. I know people that have spent weeks trying to think of their domain name and they never actually get their store off the ground. So just pick a domain name. It doesn't need to be perfect. Customers don't don't really care about your domain name as long as it's professional. And after you finish determining your domain name, we can head over to canva.com and they've made it super easy for us to create a logo. All you need to do is scroll down to this section, click logo, and they're going to populate all these different templates that we can actually use. And there's tons of different categories. So if we type in here beauty, then we'll see all these different logo options. So for example, this ivory bliss one, and all we could do right here is put our text in here. So Jade Roller, and we could literally delete some of this text right here. It really doesn't need to be much more complicated than this. All you want is a logo that looks professional and here's tons of different templates that you can use. So all you need to do is literally change out the text. And let's say if you wanted to add a different element over here, we could probably type in Jade and you can actually see they have free elements we could use. So this is the simplest way to design a logo. And once you actually picked out your logo, just click download and you're gonna actually need to be subscribed to a pro plan to save it as a transparent background. I highly recommend you guys do because it's going to make your logo look much more professional but once you've actually downloaded it you're going to want to come over and you're going to want to crop everything out that doesn't include the text and the icon and this way our logo will stand out big and bright on our website so let's crop that out and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start a shopify trial so i'll see you inside my shopify dashboard all right guys, so I just started my Shopify trial. So the very first thing I'm gonna wanna do is go to online store and there's gonna be this section called domains. So you're gonna wanna click on this and then all you're gonna wanna do is navigate to buy a new domain and you're gonna wanna actually purchase the domain name for your brand. Now, the reason why I recommend buying it from Shopify rather than GoDaddy is it integrates a little bit quicker than if you were to buy it off GoDaddy, but either one's up to you. And the very next thing we're gonna wanna do is come to apps and we're gonna wanna scroll over and click shop for apps. And basically what's gonna happen is Shopify is gonna populate their app store. And what we're gonna wanna type in this search bar is Oberlo. Why we're downloading this app is because it's actually gonna help us import the product to our website. And when we actually get orders, it will help us fulfill the orders so all we need to do is scroll down click install app and it's going to take a couple seconds to install and then you're going to need to create a new oberlo account 
Now that you're in your Oberlo account, you're gonna wanna scroll over the import list section and there's gonna be this little ad called ad products by URL. So click this over here and then you can just paste that product title from AliExpress. So you can click add product and now what's gonna happen, it's gonna import all of those product photos and you can see right here, it's actually already imported that quickly. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually change out this title. So what we could actually call this is the Rose Quartz Roller Jade Facial Massage and then we can actually just remove the rest of this stuff in here because it's not needed. This is gonna be the product title that actually shows up to the customer. And then in this collection section, we're not gonna need to do anything, but we're gonna wanna come over this description tab and we're gonna wanna remove all of this because this is just some BS that AliExpress puts in here. But trust me, no one's gonna buy this product if this is the product description. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can actually create some killer product descriptions a little bit later in this video. But now that you remove that, you're gonna wanna click over this variance tab and this is what's going to house the different options that actually show up on your product page so if you're just trying to sell that bundle what we could do is we could actually remove everything but that top one so i'm going to remove these four over here and now you just have the one variant you want to sell now the next thing we're gonna wanna do is come over this price section because this actually gonna determine the product price that we're gonna be selling it for. So if you see over here, we're getting this product for $11.56 from AliExpress. One thing that I do recommend is products that you can actually multiply the product price on AliExpress by three times. Now, obviously not all products are gonna have that high of a margin and how you can actually determine this price is actually looking at the price that competitors are selling this product for. And then we can also come over here and delete 68 cents and put it at 99 because customers are very used to seeing numbers like that. Now, the last thing we're gonna do is come over this compare app price and this is gonna actually determine what customers see the price used to be. So for example, this could reference that a sale's actually going on. So if we actually wanted this product to be 50% off to the customer, then we could put multiply by six times over here and it's just gonna be double what the other product is and you can actually do the same thing just put 99 cents at the end and then the last thing we want to do is come over this image section and here's where we can determine what images actually import to our listing so obviously we're going to not want to import these products with different text on them so we're just going to click these out over here and then you can actually add the product images that you think your customer would really like one thing that i recommend you focus on is high quality images don't put any low quality images on your product page because it could really ruin your conversion rate and now that you have that done you're just going to click import to store and this product it's gonna be sent directly to your Shopify feed. And if we actually click edit product on Shopify, it's gonna bring us to the exact link that was just created. So it was literally that simple to get your first product added, but obviously this is not ready for merchandising. So let me go over the next steps that you're gonna to wanna to know. Now the next thing we're gonna to need to do is actually create a product description and this can be one of the most detrimental parts of having a high converting Shopify dropshipping website. And I'm actually not gonna be covering it inside this video because it could take about 20 or 30 minutes just to give you guys the basis. But if you guys wanna check out the strategy that I use, then I'll leave a link to join my program that teaches you guys all this good stuff. And I also actually have a couple videos on YouTube, so your choice. Now, one thing that I urge you to do is really focus on this product description, because if you don't do it right, it could mean the difference of having a successful store and a complete flunk. So definitely pay attention to what you're doing here. But after you have your product description ready to go, we can come over this online store section and you can see that there's this tab called themes. The theme is actually gonna be the website template that you're using. And what's really cool is Shopify actually offers a free different free themes that we can go through. So you can actually look through different themes and see if one matches your brand. They have different themes for different niches. My favorite themes are Brooklyn and Debut. We already have Debut installed, so we're just gonna leave it as is and we can just click this button customize over here and this is where we're going to actually start to design our home page now the first thing you want to do is actually add that logo we created earlier so we're just going to upload it exactly how we created it and this is where that transparent background is going to come in handy because as you can see right here the background color is still showing but we're going to click select now that our logo is actually uploaded and we can scroll down to this section and we can actually announce a sale over here so if you did put your compare app price as double of the price that you're selling it for, then what you could come over here and say is 50% off 
while supplies last. And this will let customers know that you have a big sale going on and they'll be more urgent to actually make a purchase. Now, all you need to do is click this back button and we're actually gonna be removing a bunch of sections over here. So everything below this image with text section, I'm actually gonna delete. So all we need to do is come over this remove section and we're just gonna rinse and repeat this for every section. And the reason why I'm actually doing this is because these are just pre-populated blocks that Shopify put in and a homepage can be very simple, especially if you're going with the one product store approach. And that's actually what I'm showing you on how to build the homepage today. Now, that you removed all that information we're going to come over to image with text overlay and here's where we can actually control the background image that populates over here and this is going to be the first image that they see when they come to the home page so i really recommend that you find something lifestyle that actually matches the brand that you're representing so for example shopify has this gallery where we can use different free images so since we do have a beauty store i'm just going to type in here beauty and we can see different stock images that we can actually use on our website site. So I picked this image because it's a high quality image that relates to the beauty niche. Now, obviously it would even be better if I had a model holding the product, but I didn't take any photos for this product. So if you're using stock images, this is usually your best bet, or you can go on AliExpress and see if there's actually any models using your product. And then we can scroll down to this heading section. And in this section, we want something impactful that's going to catch their attention. And then you can just put some text that would relate to the heading. So I'm not gonna go through a whole homepage tutorial today because I've done multiple before. So I will leave a link above for you to actually check that out. But now we're gonna hop over the advertising section and I'm gonna show you guys how you can have the best shot of being successful as a complete beginner drop shipping. All right, so the first thing I wanna go over is the different advertising platforms you can actually go out and use for your dropshipping store. So the main platforms that are used widely through the e-commerce industry are Facebook ads, Snapchat ads, Pinterest, TikTok, Google Shopping, and Instagram influencers. Those are the main advertising platforms that are actually used when you're buying paid advertisements. So which one's best for beginners and where should you actually start? So while I do believe all these advertising platforms have extreme benefits, some will just inherently work better for some products than other products. So I definitely recommend that you go out there and test multiple advertising platforms for your product. Otherwise you won't have a true sample size of which one's gonna click for you. Now, with that being said, the main basis of my one product stores is actually finding problem solving products. And it's really easy to actually advertise these products on somewhere like Facebook or TikTok ads, because how these advertising platforms actually work is we're able to give Facebook different interests that we actually wanna go out and target. So for example, we can tell Facebook that we're looking for people with neck pain. And as long as we're selling a product that actually solves that product, when that ad shows up in their feed, they're gonna be very likely to resonate with the product and actually wanna purchase it. I think one of the biggest reasons people fail with Facebook ads is they don't have their targeting down and they're actually delivering that ad to people that might not be interested in their product. Because you guys gotta remember that these people are browsing Facebook and you're actually interrupting their experience. So if your ad is not actually giving benefit to them, then they're not gonna wanna watch it and they're not gonna actually buy. So definitely think about this when you're trying to advertise on Facebook. It can be extremely expensive to advertise, so it's better to do a little bit more groundwork and calibration before you go out there and start shucking out the hundreds of dollars to Zuckerberg. Now guys, I'm not gonna be doing a whole Facebook ad tutorial today because I actually dropped one of the most in-depth Facebook ad tutorials for completely free. So I will drop a link above for you guys to check that video out. But if you guys want me to make an updated video on Facebook ads and showing you guys how I'm actually scaling my campaigns right now, then you guys can let me know down in the comments. But I really hope this video gave you a ton of insight on how to actually go out there as a complete beginner and effectively start up a dropshipping store that can compete with people who've been in this game for years. Now, of course, this video isn't gonna give you enough insight to go out and start a profitable business. I spent thousands of hours on my e-commerce journey and you're not gonna learn it in a 20 minute video. So what I recommend you do is go down to my playlist, watch all of my videos, check the videos out. They're extremely informative and I really hope it helps you progress in your e-commerce career. But that's all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, you guys know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. It means a bunch to me, but that's all 
all I have for you guys today. I'm gonna be going on a pretty hefty move this next week. I'm actually gonna be relocating overseas, but still expect some fire videos coming out soon. I'll see you guys later. Peace.